Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today for review I have the Smock Fetch Kit. Now as soon as I saw this mod I had to get my hands on it. I was so excited. It's just a beautiful mod and I love the color. It's my favorite color. This teal. They actually label it as green but we're gonna call it teal for these purposes. So this is the box that my smock fetch kit came in. Right there is your authenticity code on the back. It tells you what the kit includes. It's pretty basic, pretty basic. Um, this slides off, then you have a white box that says fetch. Inside this box, you lift it up. There it is, look at that. So this is their green. Um, it's kind of got that iridescent thing to it to where it changes in the light. Now I will say because of this, this is an absolute fingerprint magnet. Um, it did come with some plastic cover over this. You can see as I'm touching this, I have some e-juice on my fingers. It is absolutely covering it, but we'll get to that in just a second. Underneath this, underneath the mod, you do have full papers. You have the user manual, your QA card, and then right here you have an important notice card. This is talking about actually adding in the coils and this, this does come with two coils. They're not installed into the pods, but it does come with two pods and two coils, which are blows my mind that smoke is doing that but you get the mini rpm pod and the mini nord pod the paperwork you are going to have your spare pod a charger and then your two coils so you are going to notice that one is going to the one that comes in it has this red at the bottom and the other has black now because of that you are going to use this red coil with this one and the white or black coil with this one and that's just for different coils the red one is a 0.4 ohm coil and the white one is a 0.6 ohm coil so you can have two different pods set up um, talking about the pods you do fill here this little piece comes up Right there in between the two magnets, that piece comes up. That's how you feel. Your coil is a press fit right there. Um, the mouth hole right here, it's pretty comfortable. I would have liked if it was more of an oval shape than this round. But um, yeah, the magnet, it really, really attaches down in there very well. It, it's not going anywhere. It's a very strong magnet. No rattle, no rattle whatsoever. But um, once it's in there, yeah, you don't have any worries. Um, so both of these pods um, hold 3.7 ml, so it's pretty pretty nice. That is a lot of juice for a little pod or all-in-one system, as some people are calling this little fetch. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. So like I said, these are press fit coils. Now this is the first coil that I'm going to put in. This is a 0.4 ohm coil. It's by Smock. Um, it's a pretty good little coil. Um, you're gonna get quite a bit of vapor off of this, not like you would the 0.6, but you can use this one with salt mix. But I'm gonna prime this coil before we put it into the pod. I'm gonna put a couple drips of e-liquid down in there and then wick this cotton. Guys, you should always, always, always prime your coils. If not, you're gonna get a burnt taste immediately because it's just pure cotton cotton is burning so you want to prime your coils I normally do this right here um, with even like for my sub ohm tanks I do this right here put it in each one and I sit here and I rotate and rotate until each one of these little spots isn't taking juice anymore and it, the juice just kind of sits on the cotton that's normally what I do but I'm not gonna do it this time because that takes way too long for a video now I will show you this this right here because of the sides because this is straight and these are round they have cut off the sides to where it just slides down in there it is press fit so now it's down in there those little o-rings you see the red o-ring that actually keeps it from falling out and it makes sure that you have good connection now to get this 
really need fingernails. What I will say is this little pool tab right here is a pain in the butt if you don't have fingernails like I do not. I trim mine very often so it's a pain in the butt. Now this is a very good sized uh, hole to fill with. You're just going to stick it down in there and fill. Now, like I said, this is going to hold 3.7 mLs of juice. That's a lot of juice for a little pod, so it's gonna take a second to fill up. Wow, I cannot believe the amount of juice that this pod holds. That's insane. But we've got it filled up. We're going to press that back down in there. There we go. So we've got this pod back together. So like I said, it does hold 3.7 mLs of juice, which is a whole lot of juice for a pod mod this small or an, an all-in-one mod. So this just snaps down in there. It's pretty light actually. Being at 105 grams. Now it is 76 millimeters tall, 42.8 millimeters wide, and 18.4 millimeters width right there. It's a beautiful, beautiful little mod. So it is five clicks on and five clicks off. One, two, three, four, five. It says fetch version 1.0 and then it turns on. Now with this, you got a couple different options. It starts out at five watts and goes all the way up to 40. That's a lot, that's a, that's a whole lot. Then you've got your battery, your lock and unlock, seconds, your ohms, volt, and you can change color right there. So it's pretty good. You hold the up and down arrows, it will lock the wattage. So you cannot change the wattage, but you can still fire the device. Now, if you unlock that by holding those again, bring this way down to five if you hold the power button with the up that does change the colors you've got white red orange green blue and purple it's kind of a pinkish color but oh man look at that it is so beautiful i really wish that it wouldn't get fingerprints because this is a beautiful beautiful little mod um this is the green which is kind of crazy it's this iridescent green uh, color but right here it's got fetch says designed by smock beautiful beautiful little mod so the reason that they've made this such a thick little puppy is that this actually has a 1200 milliamp hour battery that's pretty good um charging current you're only going to be able to do 1.2 amps that's at the max that way you're not hurting the battery um which it charges pretty pretty fast um i've noticed that it takes about two hours to fully charge from complete dead now this is going to come in a couple different colors and i'll pop those up on the screen now But yeah, guys, I really like this larger screen right here. You've got the fire button, which is very clicky. I like this button. It's not hurting anything right there. Then you have your up and down and then your charging port. I do wish that they would get away from this USB and go to USB-C, but I think it would cost a little bit more. Um, I'll have a couple spots down below where you can purchase this, but we're gonna let this soak for a little bit. We're gonna take it back up top, vape on it, and I'll give you my final thoughts. So guys, welcome back up top. So today we're talking about the fetch kit from Smock. Now, a couple things about this. This is a fingerprint magnet. Another thing is, if you can see the color, yeah, you can see fingerprints all over that. This is their green color. Um, it's more of a blue, but it's got that iridescent color to it on both sides. This thing is a fingerprint magnet. That's one of my biggest complaints with this. Also, it come with two of these, and if you look at it, it's very dark. It's 
a lot of times I look at this and I'm like, man, it's empty. And it's not. It's completely full. I couldn't remember whenever I filled it up. That is a complaint. I'm okay with this part being black. But I wish that this part was completely clear instead of this. It's my phone. Instead of this, uh, like, gray kind of smoke color. But... Other than that, I've really, really enjoyed this and it's kind of replaced my pod systems that I used to carry. Um, this is really like an all-in-one device. Um, the fact that it can go up to 40 watts blows my mind. The fact that it holds so much juice is absolutely amazing. But I want to hit this at a couple different wattages to give you a feel of the type of vapor you can get off of this. So currently I've got it at 25 watts. The battery is almost fully charged. I've been hitting it a little bit today and I want to hit it at 25 and show you the type of vapor that you can get off of this. And this is the smaller coil here. There is a higher resistance coil that comes in the box. Come with two that's fantastic. Pods and two coils so you can have it set up to do different things. But we're gonna hit it at 25 and see the type of vapor that we can get off of this. That's pretty good for a little pod system. And we're only at 25 watts right now. Um, one thing I will say about this, um, depending on how you're hitting it, if you hit it like this or like this, the airflow for this device, there's a little slit right there and there's a slit right there on the top. That is your airflow. Now, with that being said, if you've got it like this, like my nose hits that little airflow and covers it up to where I'm not getting as much airflow. Now, with those being there, you can cover those with your fingers and get a more restricted hit um, you can do mouth to lungs and you can do direct to lung hits with this so I'm gonna hit it as a mouth to lung and show you what that looks like so with that that's me sucking it into my mouth then into my lungs instead of directly into my lungs flavor coming off of this is fantastic I haven't had a smock or smoke device um, since the Alien 2.0. It was a great little mod that I outgrew very, very quickly, but it still works in 2019. It still works great. This, on the other hand, is amazing. I've tried out a lot of Smock products. The Alien and this are the only ones that I've actually purchased myself, but all the other ones that I tried out, I didn't really like, and in the end, I just ended up giving back or getting rid of. Uh, with this though, I actually expect to keep this quite a while. I, this has been a daily carry for me now. It fits in my little watch pocket. Very much enjoyable. I love the color. The iridescence could go if it was just this blue color. I would like that. And like I said, this is the green. So uh, you really need to look at the images of what you're ordering. Don't just go off of the color because their blue was extremely blue. And their green, I would actually call more of a blue teal color, which is the one that I wanted. So I had to order the green one instead of the blue one. Uh, but I've got it at 40 right now. I want to hit it at 40. This is going to be a little bit warmer of a vape. You're not going to really want to cover up those holes to get a more restricted hit with this. But this is this mod at 40 watts. Ooh, that was 3.7 seconds for that and that is a lot of vapor also it's not really getting warm I've chain hit this and it doesn't really the vape doesn't really get warm I think that 40 watts was a nice spot for them to end this at because if they had went much higher you would start getting that warmer vape that you're not really wanting out of a system like this 40 watts and 5 watts you're never gonna use this at 5 watts really wow I'm getting blown up today you're never really going to use this at 5 watts but at 40 and 30 and normally I keep it around that 25 mark this thing has some amazing flavor whatever smock is changing about their coils they're doing a really really great job so I'm gonna knock this back down we're gonna test it at 30 I've already went up to the high at 40 and I might take it down to 5 so you can see it down at the low end but 
This is it at 30. Like I said, that is a lot of vapor reproduction from a little itty bitty pod system. That is fantastic. That was a four second hit. Now, I'm gonna hit it at five watts. This you can drag out as long as you want because at five watts, you're not really gonna get a lot, but I wanna show you what it can do. So this is it at five watts. Still not too bad. At five watts, it's extremely airy. You're getting a lot of air, a lot more than what you're gonna want. At five watts, I would say, let's definitely cover those up, get a more restricted hit. But so far, I gotta say, Smocky did a fantastic job. Um, I purchased this with my own money, so everything that I'm telling you is completely my honest opinion with these reviews. Um, even when things get sent to me, if I don't like it, I'm not gonna tell you to go buy it. This is an absolute winner. I would say that if you're looking for a smaller system, buy this because I absolutely love it and I think that you're gonna enjoy it. 25, like I said, is where I keep it at. Oh, that five uh, wattage, that was at 5.8 seconds. So you see you're not getting a lot of vape out there really, really quickly. But I've been enjoying this. My only few little issues and hiccups are where the actual uh, air flows are. This iridescent, really, really bad fingerprint magnet. And I wish that this was completely clear. Um, I like the top being black. It makes it look really, really nice. The magnet is strong. Uh, it, it's very, very responsive. The buttons, nice and clicky. There's a little hesitation whenever you hit that button before it actually starts kicking energy and actually starts burning that to make the vapor. There is a small, short little response time, but it's honestly not that bad for this type of system. But yeah, guys, that is the Fetch by Smock. And if you're looking at some places to pick this up, I'll have links down below. This also is gonna be my very first giveaway video. Now, I'm gonna have a link right below the title of this video where you're gonna actually be able to enter into this giveaway. Now, I'm very sorry, those of you that are watching that are under 18, I cannot ship this to you, so you're gonna have to prove that you're 18 before I can ever ship it to you. But it's gonna run um, all the different things that you can do, um, like watch a video, subscribe, things like that. And whoever at the end of the month does all of those things or gets more entries or whatever, um, it's going to randomly pick one of you and then I will reach out to you, get in touch, and I'll ship it to you. And for that giveaway, I'm actually giving away the Vupu Drag Nano Pod Kit. It's the black one. Um, I've really enjoyed mine. Um, I actually use it with salt nicks now. I don't actually use it with freebase nicotines. Um, but I've really enjoyed this little thing and I wanted to do a giveaway. So if you are excited or you haven't tried this and you want a chance to get it, please, by all means, go down and check out what you got to do to enter for this giveaway. Um, it's unopened. It's brand new. So uh, one lucky winner is going to get the new Drag Nano kit. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you for coming along on another video. Think about subscribing and hitting that like button and sharing it so we can get people off those nasty ass cigarettes. But thanks for coming along, guys. See ya.